Instead of always blaming others, the president will listen to the experts, follow the science, allow them to speak. The president will lead, be an example for the nation. We have to do all we can to keep our fellow Americans safe and healthy. I'm Joe Biden, and I approve this message. Mornings were made for better things than rheumatoid arthritis. When considering another treatment, ask about Zeljans, a pill for adults with moderate to severe rheumatoid arthritis when methotrexate has not helped enough. Zeljans can reduce pain, swelling, and further joint damage, even without methotrexate. Zeljans can lower your ability to fight infections. Before enduring treatment, your doctor should check for infections like TB and do blood tests. Tell your doctor if you've had hepatitis B or C, have flu-like symptoms or are prone to infections, serious, sometimes fatal infections, cancers, including lymphoma, and blood clots have happened. Taking a higher than recommended dose of Zeljans for RA may increase risk of death. Tears in the stomach or intestines and serious allergic reactions have happened. Don't let another morning go by without asking your doctor about the pill first prescribed for RA more than seven years ago, Zeljans. I didn't realize how much I missed you guys. I feel like my life's been on pause and I'm like seeing things more clearly. We recognize what's so precious yes. and what's precious is people. Tonight, the pandemic gets more intense. Today's new numbers and what they mean to you. Plus, we go one on one with city leaders about the urgent need to get coronavirus under control. Join us next on News 4 at 6. In our latest episode of Nightly News Kids Edition, how did the coronavirus start? Richard Engel takes a look at a possible link between the virus and an animal you may not have heard of. Plus, this amazing boy uses love for art to launch a startup for kids. And we'll take a look at the puppy boom that is warming hearts in homes across the country. Our new episode is streaming right now. And that is Nightly News for this evening. I'm Lester Holt. Thanks for watching. Please take care of yourself and each other. Tonight, the pandemic re-intensifying, we're breaking down sobering new numbers and sitting down with city leaders to discuss the urgency of getting the coronavirus under control. Plus, behind bars for killing the husband of the woman he was stalking. It was, oh my God, this guy's not going to stop. How he's been able to keep getting in touch with her and why she says she can't get anything done to stop it. I felt his hot breath on my toes. Disturbing details from three women who say they got far more than they were looking for when they visited a North Nashville massage studio. We talked to the man in question, the reasoning he claims the women are after him. It's tonight's top story. This is News for Nashville. I think he's a predator. That is one of three women who have filed police reports on a massage therapist saying he touched them inappropriately. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us on air and streaming live on the News 4 app. Metro Police confirmed 10 different women have called 911 about this same man. And our chief investigative reporter, Jeremy Finley, tracked down the massage therapist who had an unexpected explanation. Three women, three police reports all about one massage therapist accused of using his body to horrify, not help from his mouth. I felt his hot breath on my toes and then I felt like his tongue touch one of my toes, but then I flinched and I kicked him. To his hands. He took his hands off of my feet and said he was going to admire them. And that's when his hands moved down to his genitals and he started touching himself. To a part of the male anatomy. He's firmly massaging both of my hips. So I can feel his hands and arms and his touched my arm and I immediately recoiled and he said, oh, that was my arm. The complaints all about Tarek Menturi, a licensed massage therapist in North Nashville. News 4 investigates confirmed with police 10 different women have called 911 since 2019 about Mentori. This woman says she came here on a job interview to be his assistant, but left after she says Mentori began touching himself. I think he's a predator. He's using this job interview to lure in young people. I 
completely deny the accusations. Mentori agreed to speak with News 4 investigates about why he says the women are coming forward. I won the lottery and they are trying to do what they can to get a cut of some of my money. I've interviewed all of these women. Not a single one of them have mentioned at all that you won the lottery. Well, duh. <laughs> that would blow their cover. I find it a little hard to believe that women would go to this extent to file police reports and to go public with this just in a way to try and get money from you. People have done that, unfortunately. These women don't know each other. They're all making very similar claims. Doesn't that seem to indicate that something really went wrong? Well, if anything, I see a lot of differences between the three accusations. Mentori admits there's no proof he won the lottery because he was part of a group that accepted it without disclosing their names. These women say they want nothing from him, only to stop giving massages. This guy has a problem and he needs to not be, at least not be practicing. Jeremy Finley, News 4 Investigates. Now, Metro Police could not comment or release the 911 call, citing a very active criminal investigation. The state health department, which oversees the Board of Massage Licensure, said they aren't allowed to even confirm if they are investigating. Finally, we have reached out to the state lottery board to try and verify if Mr. Mentori has in fact won the lottery.